An invisible monster is barreling through space. That does not sound menacing at all. That is what NASA is now calling a possible runaway black hole that the Hubble telescope is now seeing, though it's invisible. CNN's Tom Foreman with the details here. Tom, what's going on? Yeah, happy Friday. <laughs> uh, good news, happy Friday. <laughs> this is uh, an extraordinary phenomenon that NASA scientists say they've never seen before. And of course, everyone's very excited about this. What you're looking at right here is an artist depiction of what's happening. To the left, the thing down there in the corner, that's this giant supermassive black hole that is blasting through space at an extraordinary speed. What you see at the far right, the little light space up there, is sort of a coalescence of light that seems to be related to what you see in the middle, which is stars that are being created by the compression of gas in front of this black hole because it's moving so fast and then as the gas comes around the backside and has been heated it forms stars normally it would just gobble them all up but it, to put it in sort of simple physics terms which will be completely incorrect but it'll give you an idea if you were to take a vacuum and run it over a really dirty carpet it'll suck everything up if you do it really fast it'll suck some things up it'll also just create chaos with everything else so this is a really exciting find and, and pretty amazing john uh, I'm reliably told, I called this black hole rudely, I called it supermassive, um, but I'm told it like weighs 200 plus times, is it 200 suns? 20 million suns, 20 what? million suns, the weight of 20 million suns, and I saw... 20 million suns. I saw Black Hole, the movie in 1979, and I'm still scared, right. so why isn't this scary? Well, first of all, that's a helpful measure because we all have a real sense of how much the sun weighs. <laughs> so 20 million of them is really easy to get. Uh, uh, but, but, but this thing, it, it weighs that much. It's traveling so fast, it could go from the Earth to the moon in about 14 minutes. Distance to the moon is around a quarter million miles, so that's well above the speed limit. And, and the really interesting thing about this, they found it by accident, John. They were looking at images from the Hubble ta Space Telescope and when they were looking at it, they noticed this little weird streak out in space there. They thought initially that this was just some sort of an artifact on the camera. Not the case. Instead, they found a phenomenon like we've never seen before. <laughs>